Hi, fancy meeting you here. Well, if this anime doesn't make you want to take a hot bath, then I don't know what. Well, welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. So Therma Romanova is a new Netflix original anime with a really odd number of episodes, 11 dropped today. I'm here to talk about it non-spoiler and also let me know your comments below which anime are you most looking forward to a Netflix original that's coming. They dropped a bunch of trailers recently. They're really doubling down on their fantastic anime. Let's talk about it. A proud bath architect in ancient Rome starts randomly surfacing in present-day Japan where he's inspired by the many bathing innovations he finds. So occasionally Netflix will buy interesting IPs or fund interesting manga adaptations and this is one of those. It has I believe something like 500 million copies sold. There is a live adaptation that was made in 2011 released in 2012 and so now we have this one of those interesting, different, unique animes. And that's what I can say. It's quirky, but it is definitely different. It's not your classic anime story. We have a Roman guy who is an architect and he finds himself through various modes in water. Whenever he's in like a, a large pot of water, he ends up slipping or something and falling. It's deeper than he thinks he is and he arrives in Japan. And that's, you kind of go, okay, we're, we're, I guess we're just gonna, th there's some magic in the bathhouses with this particular Roman. And as he starts to come to terms with uh, what is actually going on with that, he starts realizing like the, the, the modern day, well, he, it, for him, it's kind of modern day, well, much more in the future. All the technologies that they're using to make the various different types of bathhouses that they are, he wants to take that technology and bring it back to help Rome pro prosper. He's an interesting guy. He kind of looks like a Greek God sculptured dude, you know, he's tall. He is quite shocking to look at. Uh, most of the time he's naked, but they don't show any of that, obviously. It is quite funny and, and comedic because of the places he finds himself in and the way he reacts to certain things like tasting food or drinking beverages that are nowhere near to what he's experienced so far. And then his excitement and exuberance is bringing that back. There really isn't an, an arc other than him needing to connect with his wife again, trying to please the current emperor, also trying to avoid being taken out by people that get jealous by him. The story really is about him fulfilling his father's dream, taking on that legacy and becoming like the best architect, not just having to copy from the future, but taking what he knows, what he's seen and bringing that back. Each episode takes us on a new moment of different types of architecture, bath, inventions that he could use <laughs> and after the series hence the intro to this video i definitely wanted a hot bath and relax it reminded me why it's so healthy and why it's so good for you it kind of ticks all a, a chilled out anime box that sometimes that you have but also will leave you going this is pretty good Recently, we have Kotoro Lives Alone, and that was phenomenal. Hit me with all the emotional punches that I wasn't expecting. This one leaves you going, oh, that's really interesting. It, you feel like you've learned something in the anime, especially when you get to the credits. At the credits, at the end of each episode of this anime, you get this little history moment where our creator draws an image of what she's, what's inspired her, and she goes on a little tour of a bathhouse or some food with each. It's like a chronologically enjoying with each episode, another doc at the end of each episode. It just, it's just a nice little add-on that I've not seen before, which I really appreciated. They've really gone above and beyond with that. And when it comes to the animating itself, it's very different. It reminds me back to the 80s sort of style. It fits it well because we start off with that Rome theme and we're always going back towards it. The style looks like it's a uh, hand drawn. It's maybe not quite what we have today, even though it is done today. It just has a, an older feel. Like if you're watching the original kind of Studio Ghibli's or you're watching those Saturday, Saturday morning animes from the 80s or 90s, you're probably going to have that sort of same texture, color palette. And then when it comes to the score, even the intro I thought was really interesting because they went for the operatic, operatic, I'm sure this word, opera score opening theme, which really again did fit. And then we have those orchestral moments throughout each episode of the anime, really kind of adding to what they were going for. It, it changes from orchestral to kind of jazz pieces. They knew what they wanted to feel like and went with it. So really our protagonist, is the bath and we get the guy that's experiencing his architecture moments 
through what happens with the boss. But the boss, the architecture itself is the story. It's very interesting, very different. I wasn't expecting this from it. I didn't quite know what to expect. I knew I wanted to watch it when I saw the trailer and I was pleasantly surprised. I don't think it's going to emotionally gut punch anybody. It's not that sort of anime, but I feel like you'll be pleasantly I like, oh yeah, satisfied with this anime because it's different. It takes the different boxes. Sometimes that's what you need, something unique and fresh. I really appreciated like some of the stuff that you get to learn about the culture, where it comes from, uh, and the ingenuity with what <laughs> Rome had. And then obviously what bars mean to so many people, friendship, honor, it's all in there, but just in this skin, in this anime and it looks like we may get another season as the creator was talking about she if she were to come back she would keep to that theme which you know meant is steeped in culture i'm gonna give this four nicholas cages out of five i know it doesn't have like a proper story arc but there is a story about the bath does that make sense let me know your thoughts down below thanks so much for watching let me know your favorite moments or your favorite episode uh in this 11 episodes of anime uh, we've got lots of new anime coming soon, so we'll be covering those. Don't forget to subscribe. It really does help. And, and like and comment and all that jazz. But most of all, until next time, remember, live on Tuesday.